Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unpacking and it's this. It's from a company called SJOL. I got it from Amazon of course, like I always do. It costs just under £18. It's a 12-in-1 network pair kit professional. It says on here, network tool kits, computer maintenance, land cable tester, computer mobile device repair kit. So basically, if you've got a network cable and you damage it in any way, you should be able to repair this. Although they are a bit fiddly sometimes. <laughs> and I've done a few in the past. And they're a pain in the butt. But yeah, with these, it makes life a lot easier. <laughs> well, I don't think you can do them about these nowadays. So yeah, so the, the plan is we're going to uh, get one of my leads out and uh, try and repair it. So with that, shall we get on with the unpacking? Right. Let's have a go then. So it comes in. Um, it came in a little box from Amazon, and uh, when I open the box, obviously it's in this little bag. I haven't opened it up. But that's how it was. I just took it out of the box because I wasn't sure what was in there at the time. So I had to make sure. So it's got a little, um, little carry handle, if you like. Quite a nice uh, packaging case. Obviously, there's nothing on there to tell you what it is, but so it could be a shaver in there for a while. No, <laughs> that'd be funny. So uh, we'll unzip it. I'll move the camera back so you get a better view. Right, can you see that okay? Of course you can. Right, so we'll do the unpacking first. So we'll get for your money. Oh, so it's nicely laid out. So what should we have a look at first? Oh, there's a battery there. So 9 volt battery. I wasn't expecting it actually. So that's quite good. Two screwdrivers, um, uh, Phillips and a flathead. And actually, they feel like really nice handles. Yeah, pretty good. Quite impressive, them. They're nice. Very nice. Put them to one side. Get the crimper out. There's the crimper. So, uh, how does that work? So that looks like it works fine. So you have uh, three different crimpings. We're only interested in the middle one, uh, which is the 45. That's the one with, uh, for your Ethernet, that's what we use more than anything. As you can see, looking around it, it's alright. These are for cutting your cables on the end, if you want to cut them using this. You'll have various cutters in there actually, but this will be for cutting that. Put that down, so that's your crimper. Here's your tester. Let's get the tester out. So this will have, have to have a 9 volt battery. Tear that open. Oh, there's a little instruction manual there, which is handy. Network cable tester. So it give you a, what's it giving you? So it tells you all about it, and it's all in English. So that's pretty good. So we'll have a read that later sometime. Sandy. So let's have a look at the tester. So yeah, it's quite nice. It comes apart, by the way, or it should do. It normally do, yeah. It normally do. So yeah, so you can split them. Yeah. And the idea is that if you if it's in a working location, you know, not like we're going to do here. You know, you've got one in one room and the cable goes into another room, and you need to just connect them together because they've all been uh, fitted in and whatever. You can just unplug it, plug that in one end, and then plug this in the other end, and uh, see if it works. So it goes in there, see? And that one's got two different ends, depending on what size your uh, Ethernet cable is, because it's different model. But we're only interested in the 45, and I believe that's the bigger size. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a bigger one. But we'll find that anyway. So uh, in this, so this would be, we got... Off and on. Has it got two speed? I think it's two speeds. It says off, on, and yes. So you have it on, and it has a fast speed. So you can, when you're doing your testing, you can make the lights go really fast. You know, it, what you, the idea is you have them going down together. So if both are reading fine, it, or if it reads fine down to there, I believe it is six then you know you've made a good connection. Well, I'll show you in a minute. In a minute, we'll have a look at play and I'll show you. So 
So yeah, it goes on there. Nice little logo there. Wow, so you've got your, your um, connections, a set of connections. They're not expensive to buy. Nice little carry case there, the packet thing there. Quite like that. Yeah, pretty good. This is a, a, another little cutter. That's quite handy. And I do believe that's for a probably a telephone, pushing in for the telephone cables mainly more than anything else so this is another cutter so we're quite a few her selection of uh, using different tools for cutting as you can see so what's that three cutters we've got that that does cut in you just pull it through and you cannot just go like that and that's for pushing the cables in so that's ideal for like telephones mainly and uh probably won't need that one that different size of cables whatever they are this is like I say this would be the main one so you, you know you've got a couple of blades in there you've got one for putting your round things in so you just want to shred them off rather than cut them right through that's what that's for and then we have this one which is a weird looking thing it's a punch down block so let's see if it works let's do it on there no I don't damage that do I hear that so that's what that does, so pushes it in, a bit like a stapler really. Oh look, it's got some extra features on it. Well, wasn't expecting that. So yeah, they're all, all for doing like your little cables and that. Different to uh, types of cables. We're only really interested in is the uh, Ethernet cables for this. But yeah, it's a nice little kit there. Oh, there's another cutter here. I nearly missed this one out. And this one is for cutting you different thicknesses of different cables and the way it does it has the sizes on the side four six eight and twelve so that's your sizes and the way it works is you push put it out find the size of your cable thickness on the uh, with the little orange thing turn it around depending on how you want it or depending on how, how thick your cable is and turn it around, put your cable in, and it will shred it off the outer shell. That's the way it works. And so it's quite simple at all, but it works very well. I've actually used one of these before. It's been a while, but yeah, it works very well. So that's what it does. You just turn that around, push it back in, and do your job. That's it. And cut your cable, whatever. So that's what that does. So I don't won't need that at the moment what we do we'll test this so I'll put a battery in it and we'll give it a test right change the battery here's my cable I'm not going to undo it all so what we do we stick this in on one end should be like that so that goes in so it won't go in that end look because it's too small so it only goes in the bigger end which is what we want and this goes in the other end which again will be the bigger end like so and then turn it on there you go so and there you go so and the other thing is if you match them up together they should just match up together which means that's what the cables are set at Oh look, it's not together. Is that because I've moved it? Let's turn it off. Might be because I was disturbed it. I thought it was all sorted. So actually it should be at all. Like so turn it back on. No. So that's not good. So that's a bad cable, so we need to sort that out anyway. So I might have to change both both ends. And you can do it at fast fast or slow speed, so Flick it over one more on that slow speed. And it's showing you it's not in the right order. That's interesting. So it is a bad cable. And there you go fast. It's like a little Christmas tree, doesn't it? So we need to sort this cable out anyway. So with that, shall we make a cable? Or repair a cable, I should say. So I'm going to use the crimpler. Crim crimpler. 
So I've moved it back a bit so you get a better view. So I'm uh, going to use my crimper and pull that out. I'm going to cut off this end first because I've got a feeling this might be the bad end. And I might be totally wrong. So you can use virtually any tools. We're going to use this one because I want to see if it, how good it is. Oh, and that was easy. <laughs> That's good. So I'm just going in the bin. So now we've got that. So now we've got uh, we've got to do that. So it's it's uh, got a nice uh, cut on it. So like I said, we're going to use this. There you go, that's quite easy. I'll probably cut too much off actually. Never mind. It's only for the video. I'll take one of these. It's like a little uh, tablet box, isn't it? And you put all your tablets in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> There's too many days in there. So basically, what you have to do now is, is sort out all your cables in the right order and then connect it. So, uh, that's going to take me a little while, so I'm not going to film that bit. Ah, so that's it for this little uh, unpacking, if you like. I've um, done finished the ends, as you see my little bit at the end. It's a little nice and tidy now. I did cut them a bit long at the start and then I changed my mind and made them the right length. So this is the little pack. I thought I'd show you one more time. I know you've seen it a few times. But that's everything you get, everything you should need in there to make your own Ethernet cables or Ethernet connections at the end. So if you uh, break them any time, you know you can do it. They are a bit fiddly and uh, I don't know the answer to that. They're just pain in the ass. You've got to separate all them little wires and... Um, make sure you've got a diagram I always call up diagram on the internet so always look at that and then just follow that and the other thing to remember before i forget uh, before i finish when you look at the diagram it normally shows you the little clip because when i first done it i've done it wrong the little clip a facing away from you so you, and you put the, the uh, cab cables in like that so like it's a stripy green and a green and then the far right's are brown. <coughs> and the other thing to remember on this, on this little beauty, there's eight cables in the, the one we done. So it should up, light, light up all eight. Not six or seven, like I might have said earlier. <laughs> like I said, I'm a bit out of practice with, it, with uh, doing uh, network cabling. I haven't done it for a while. I haven't done it for about a year, actually. I, I did have another one. I lent it to my, my uh, friend, and he hasn't brought it back. So I'm sure he will do one day. You know what it's like when you lend things to people. They don't bring them back. So, yeah. So, I think it's a nice little pack. And uh, didn't have no problems. Got loads of little tools in there. That that was the main tool. That's the one I really needed to use more than anything. I don't think I'll ever be using that. But it's nice to have it. Unless uh, someone has a problem with a telephone line or something. I believe that's what that's for. I've never used one of them before. Uh, same as that, I know that's for the telephone line or very thin cable. And you just slide it in there and that will cut it for you. But And the screwdrivers, I'm quite impressed with the screwdrivers. They feel like really good quality screwdrivers. And so did the, the crimper as well. Well, so did all of it, really. So uh, would I give it a recommendation? Yeah, I think it's got a nice carry case. It does everything it says on the tin, if you like. So yeah, it gives my thumbs up. Very pleased with it. Quite heavy, actually. And it's quite big as well, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, you're getting all that. So, it's a good little kit. But, you know, if you're going to do Ethernet, you know, you're going to make sure you've got an old practice one so you can practice. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. So, uh, if you have any comments, please post them below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>